Today's string report video covers the brand new Cobra Aerojet drivers, and we have Kevin Kraft with us, who has some experience playing Cobra drivers. He'll hit some shots, give us his insight, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know. Golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, tell us in the comments what you think of the new Aerojet drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We are in the Twin Cities today. Kevin has flown in from the Air Columbia store, uh, braving the very freezing cold temperatures, but uh, it's a little hot in here because we got new drivers. Uh, the Aerojet models from Cobra, three of them. Uh, I know you're very excited as someone who's previously played uh, Cobra drivers. Yes. Um, so if you've been following along with uh, Bryson DeChambeau and Cobra's stuff, um, this was actually the model that Bryson's been the most involved with. up about, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. He's uh, He had some videos out really early in the year. Uh, you know, they had mm -hmm. to kind of keep everything behind closed doors because yeah. they didn't want it to get out. But this is this is that driver. Mm -hmm. So uh, I am very excited about this one. Yeah. Um, my experience with LTD X was was very, very positive. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was their best model to date. Uh, look, feel, sound, everything there was was really good. Yeah. Really fast ball speeds. It was one of my best selling drivers last year. You know, Cobra's a little bit smaller brand, right? Yeah. I mean, we don't see them uh, sure. advertised the way Taylor made and Callaway do. Yeah. So typically they run, you know, down in the fourth, fifth in terms of uh, yeah. driver sales for us. Yeah. But uh, last year it was really, they were yeah. right up there fighting, yeah. fighting at the top. And the, so. the LTDX tested really well in our initial testing as well. And a lot of people in the comments on YouTube were, you know, gunning for more LTDX stuff, more yeah. testing compared yeah. to this, compared to that. So yeah. there was a lot of interest and buzz there because it's almost like kind of, you know, you don't see as many TV commercials, right? But Correct. Cobra kind of lets the yeah. club speak for itself. Yep. And they do a really good job of that. So yeah. three models, Aerojet Standard, Aerojet Max, and Aerojet LS. Yep. Um, first of all, you've got, I think that's the standard model in this your hand. This is the standard so model in my hand, yep. You have a kind of a first impression on the appearance there. What do you think? So it looks, it looks fantastic, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the bottom of this, you know, the sole of this club, it's, extremely aerodynamic yeah it's it's there's nothing really to to catch yeah the, the air so uh that probably might have influenced the name a little bit yeah right? i imagine if, it if probably they're, did <laughs> if they're they're looking to make something very aerodynamic um on the top we've got uh, a huge amount of carbon fiber. Yep. We have a very thin top line here. Yep. I know some people hadn't really loved the little wrap around yeah. on, on top. Um, so a lot of carbon fiber. I happen to like the look of carbon fiber. Uh, this is a little darker in terms of the, um, uh, the, the glossy yeah. crown because it's all more carbon fiber you're not seeing yeah. as many of those fingerprints right, right. so you have um, that and you also have the carbon on the sole here too yes uh, so correct that's something to note there so there's weight savings removing as much weight as yep, i can absolutely um and then the new piece this year is the power bridge so mm -hmm. uh this power bridge you can see it kind of on the on the bottom of the sole there um, what it does is it enables unrestricted face flexibility so they're kind of stabilizing the head but then also the space here from basically the bridge to the face they're opening that up for face flexing, sure, all of that. Absolutely. You know, they're, they're, they're trying to create as much energy there as possible. Yeah. Obviously a really face, or excuse me, really thin face, mm -hmm. uh, the power shell structure there. So that's been a staple in Cobra's yes. products for a while. So a lot of excitement here because ball speeds, I imagine are gonna be pretty good. And yeah. I know as, again, someone playing Cobra drivers, new mile for 2023, I know you're yep. pretty amped up about this. One other big change for 2023, we've lost the infinity mm -hmm. pace. We have. So uh, we're back to more of a, a standard look feel on the on yeah. the face here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I, I like the infinity face all right. It was great for being able to see where you caught the ball. Yeah, uh, right. It just wiped away. The feedback, and, yeah, 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 yeah. So that was good. So uh, I'm really looking forward to putting this mm -hmm. through its through its paces as well um, as its, its other models here. One more thing to touch on, the lofts. So, the standard and the max, nine, 10 and a half, and 12. Uh, nine and 10 and a half only in the LS. So uh, I, that imagine, I mean, most people playing the LS want low spin, probably don't need the 12, but Correct. Um, you have, and you also have the adjustability as per usual with the Cobra yep. um, adjustable hosel there. So a yep. lot of excitement here. I think you're chomping at the bit to hit some tee shots here. I am. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Okay. All 
All right, Mr. Kraft. Okay. The standard model. Yep. You know what to do. Feedback yeah. on the appearance there at address. So, immediately, I love it. Yeah. Um, the shape is very similar to what the LTDX was. Uh, I love this big sea of of kind of gray carbon yeah. fiber. It just looks great. Personally, I much prefer the smaller line on the okay. top. Uh, it just is much more appealing to me. Um, the part that pinches in down here at the bottom also kind of minimized. So yeah. I, I really like that. Uh, the color scheme's good. Um, you know, the white's all right. Uh, we got some kind of kind of a little red, white, and blue scheme to go along with the carbon fiber. Yeah. Uh, it just looks great. Very, very square. Uh, kind of like we had with with uh, with a couple of the other models, we do have a little bit of contrast here. Yeah, uh, on the outside. Framing up yep. the back of the, the, the yep. golf club. Um, it just looks good. It just really looks good. Yeah, um, I think they've done a, it's, it's, it's simple, but also confidence inspiring. I yes, think absolutely. I, I think, you know, you look at the golf club as a whole, and I think there's less going on yeah. on the outside of this club than there has been on most of the others. Yeah, I think that's, um, I think that's true. Yeah, you know, it's because I, I mean, you mentioned the aerodynamics piece yeah. at the beginning, but like, you just look at it, there's, there's less restriction yeah, there. It you looks know. sleek. Yeah, it looks really sleek. Mm -hmm. it looks fast. Yeah. Let's oh, see if it's yeah. fast. Let's see if it's fast. Okay. I mean, the name Aerojet. Yeah. It says fast. It to does me, say so. fast, yes. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. First swing. What are we what are we looking at usually for, for numbers for you? I mean, so, well, I guess when you're when you're playing right now, you're out and competing, you know. What are you anticipating your driver to do? Club head speed when I'm when I'm moving pretty well should be around 109 ish. Okay. Uh, in in competition. Yep. Um, I get cranking a little bit and I can get into the into the low 270s in terms of carry okay. and I end up around 300. Mm -hmm. So you know we weren't far off here. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't my absolute best strike. Yeah. And hit a driver for a few minutes. Yeah. Um, but. Look, I caught this a little to the toe. We got a little bit of gear effect. Yeah. Ended up down the middle at 292. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a, here's the thing. You're, you're never going to complain about that t-shirt. I am never going to complain about yeah. that t-shirt. No. no, absolutely not. And it felt really good for a little bit of a yeah. mess. Yeah. Okay. Got over on that one a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Human errors oh, you know. will occur. I am very aware of myself. Yep. So <laughs> I like the sound. Yeah. It sounds oh, yeah. really good. It's a nice, it's got a nice pitch to it. Yes. It sounds fast. There's nothing uh, about it that's, I mean, by any means off putting, if anything. No, it, it doesn't sound like the head's tearing apart. Right. Right. Okay. Which there, that has been the case that, with that has drivers. Been the case. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that speed is starting to climb. It's starting to climb. Yeah. There we oh. go. There we go. Look at that. Kevin Kraft has entered the building. That came way off the toe. <laughs> but look at it. Look at that. Wait. Well, look at that. And uh, you probably felt that club twist a little bit. In your I hand did, and, yep, indeed. Yep. Spin stayed down, toe shot. Yeah. But carry, carry was good. And honestly, we lost it out to the right a little bit, but it, it it's didn't not like, fall off yeah, the planet, it's, right? It's, so that's That's a awesome. good miss. That is a good miss. You got to love a driver that is that forgiving. Oh, there we go. Speed is increasing. Yes. There 310. we go. 310. Oh, that thing is, we're, we're, we're climbing here. This is, this is fun to watch. This is fun to watch. 313. Oh, we're getting close. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. I think right. We, Kevin. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's. Yeah. What are you going to do? We have the Max in 10 and a half, and we have the LS. So we'll move on here. But I mean, I'm just going to bring these numbers up really quick just so we can talk about them because you hit eight shots. As you kind of picked up and got used to the speed, yep. we saw you start in the basically under 270 carry yeah. and then you very quickly neared 290 carry at yeah. the end of it 
Yeah. And the first first swing was the first swing in a while. Second swing was smothered, and then I found my golf swing again. So, you know, those last those last yeah. six shots were right. Were pretty good. Yeah, and I think spin rate warm up swings ab- here. Yeah, was absolutely fantastic. We're talking about 283, 309 average. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So we gotta go max or we wanna go LS next? Uh well let's go max next. Okay. Alright, so the max bottle. Yep. I ask every time we, you know, we've got the draw draw bias mm-hmm. or more forgiving. Mm-hmm. Do you do you see the draw bias there? Nope. Nope? Nope. Does it look pretty cl- similar kind of close? It looks like I was just hitting. Yeah. Okay. So obviously you flip it over and you're gonna see that instead of having just one standard weight here in the back, yep. we have a swappable weight here. Yep. Uh, this came standard with the heavier weight in the back. So yeah. it's really not going to be a humongously different driver as yeah. it is set up. Yeah. Do you want me to hit it this way, or do you want me to hit it with the weight down in the heel? Let's let's leave like uh, let's move that let's move the weight in the okay. heel because yeah, we let's, let's just see the, the effect of the, yeah. the I mean, that's, that can have. Yes. But. Toey took it off a little high. I mean, okay. yeah, a little toe hanger. Yeah. Okay. That's Maybe a little high on the face too, potentially. Potentially, yes. Really stable though. We didn't lose it way, way off. Yeah. Spin rate stayed very similar. Yeah. Because there's there there is so the, the the toe strikes. If you're not close to center and hit toe, it can go on in two ways. It can kind of do the gear effect and turn over. Yes. Or it can flip way open. <laughs> yes. And see ya. Yeah. You know, but it seems like you had the toe strike with the the standard model and now this one, and both yeah. have just. I mean, they they're missing a tiny bit right of center, yeah. but they're not slicing. They're not duck right. hooking. It's right. still in, in play. play. 300 yards yeah. in play. Okay. Club head speed down. Spin very stable. Yep. Carry yardage awesome. Okay. Okay. Little little spinny, probably impact I, location. Yeah, I suppose if that's the, you know, if that's our the slightly below the, if, the equator miss. <laughs> if that's our outlier, we're probably okay. Right. Toey, just a little toey. I mean. There's a lot of forgiveness in these drivers. There I think. is a lot of forgiveness in this driver. Yeah. I mean, like it just this head is very, very stable. So yeah. the the toe shots. I mean that from a gear effect standpoint, that obviously had a little bit of gear effect because it did turn. Yeah. But it didn't. Well, it's that plus it's also still flying 120 feet in the air. Yeah. Sometimes you yeah. lose that height when you hit the kind of use the gear Correct. effect. It does yeah. kind of dive. Yeah. The spin is up. It's still flying high enough and far enough. I mean, it's there's. There's no complaints on this one either. No, uh, mm-hmm. I could, you know, maybe nitpick the one four six smash factor. But I, well, I know you could. Every, everything else yeah, was was uh, really good. So, yeah. interestingly, you know, dispersion wise, if we if we drop the one smother from the yeah. from the first one. Yeah. Well, we can. Uh, let's just do that. Let's get your first couple of warm up swings yeah, there. That's perfect. And then uh, go like this. Okay. We can kind of start so, to see things. Really, maybe a little bit of draw bias. Yeah. Um, it, it, there's a, there's a, it's a, um, it kind of, it, it, it helps. It, it's, it's pushing it over, yeah. but you still, you know, it, it's still requiring the golfer to swing as well, um, yes. which yeah. ha- is what any club does. Correct. It's not going to swing itself. Correct. So no, not, at least not yet. <laughs> not, not, not yet. <laughs> Cobra's doing pretty well, but they're not, they're not that good. Yeah. They're not that, not that good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know what? It, it's, it's really solid, really yeah. solid. I thought maybe we'd see a little more, a little more, yeah. Correction, but yeah. You know and I think I'm, I'm okay I mean that's that. I think it's still a good thing though. Those toe shots yes. did go. Yes. They didn't go as far right. Right. All right. Now with this right. one, do you see a difference? No. Really? No. It looks looks very much like the other two models. Okay. Um, we flip it up though, and we have two eight forward. forward. Yep. Right. So uh, it comes with a twelve and a three. 
In this particular setup, the 12 is in the heel. Yep. I have a history with the LS models, uh, having kind of a hard time turning them over. Okay. Um, I had both the LTDX and the LTDX LS last year, yeah. and I literally just could never turn over the LS. So okay. I played the regular LTDX yeah. all year last year. Um, I'm interested to see, you know, the spin rate numbers were so good with, with yes. both of those two mm -hmm. models. I don't know where, I don't know where I'm going to go from yeah. there. Right. So one of the things I like about the standard model versus an LS, this is going to be a little harder to hit. It yeah. is going to be a little bit more demanding. I'm to the point now where I really like that little bit more forgiveness. Yeah. And I want a really, really stable head. Um, I'm excited to hit this. I'm excited to see what we do. Um, but it's got a it's got a pretty big wall to climb. Oh, here it's the, the, the standard is pretty high saying. right now. Yes, it is. The bar sure. is pretty high to clear. So for sure. I mean. Okay. <laughs> okay. The spin is definitely lower on yep. that one. Yep. Yep. Now we're getting some speed. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting, now we're getting some right hand side and too. That 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 right side that you were talking about. Yep. That's that's what I struggled with with okay. the LTX with the, LS with the last LS. year. Yep. That I, was not try, going I right. tried to force that. Yeah, one that was left. not going right. I tried to force that one left. Okay. So you, that right. was another more or less kind of a smother is what you kind of call yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So not only are we seeing like really stable heads, but really stable spin rates and performances yeah. across this line too, which is nice. And across the face when you have yes. the ball off yeah. the toe or off the heel. Well, you know, I had to throw a couple heel shots in there to offset those toe shots. And yeah. See so what, yeah. What, and that, yeah. that's just what a good test. I'm just, do. I'm just, I'm just experimenting. Yeah. With the head. Yeah. I think I popped it up. I mean, kind of. I'm going to look. Oh yeah. I mean, no dummy mark or anything. But we're seeing some good stuff here. Yeah, the spin is not really hovering any higher than really low two thousands. Yeah, no, even when you miss it, it's good. I'm, I, I am experiencing. I think kind of the, the same thing I fought last year with the LTDX yeah. LS, just a little more yeah. right bias than maybe I. Yeah, it's I really almost want. like it, for you. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but it's almost like if you're gonna hit a draw and really turn mm -hmm. it, you kind of have to really force it to. Yes. Yeah. And what I don't want for my driver, I don't want it. I don't want to miss left. Yeah. But I also don't want to miss right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I'm the same way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you can turn it over yeah. if you yeah. absolutely have to. Just a little more work maybe. Yeah. I, I, yeah. There's a little more. There's a little more pressure on me sure. with this with this particular model to get yeah. this get it to turn over. So I'm gonna just these these uh, couple that or yeah. the, the, the sky yeah. ball and then the uh, we'll yeah. Go like no, this I think here. that's I think that's fair. Yeah. So we'll do this. Yeah. We'll just kind of look at this quick on the numbers and stuff. Um, lowest spin the LS. Mm -hmm. um, we saw. Let's see. We're going to. But look at how stable the the spin rates were across the board. Yeah. We I went mean, from 2128 to 2299. I mean, there's not a huge amount of variance there. There's not. There's not. Um, you were the fastest, both swing speed and, and ball speed with the Aerojet. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting landing angle was, there was a pretty good separation between each model there, right? Yeah, there really was. Um, if we go to height too, I think we'll start to see some of that as well. So yeah. Max, giving you some more launch, more height. Yep. Aerojet kind of in the middle, and then the LS a little bit lower. That's That seems to make a lot of sense yeah. from what... Cobra's telling us I mean, about these drivers. I had this at standard loft at nine yeah. degrees. Were I to try to push through with this, yeah. I'm going to change that loft a little bit, see if I can get it, uh, you know, if I go up to 10 degrees, if that helps oh, I square suppose, it up yeah. a little bit. I did have it on standard D. I, mean, I, I knew what I was getting into here. So yeah, I, I wanted to give myself the best opportunity. Um, but I, I know. You know, from past experience, I know what my expectation yeah. was, and I, I figured I'd probably have a little harder time squaring this guy up. Than, yeah. Than the other. Okay. So, but some pretty good stuff here, and based on testing the other, you know, some of the other models out there this year, Cobra stacks are pretty darn well. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, from a look, feel, sound perspective, right up there with with everything else. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be thrown into the mix a lot, and 
as, as a customer, they, they're going to get to determine what they like best. And it's one of the big things, you know, it doesn't always necessarily have to be about, you know, numbers. I mm -hmm. want that just as I want for myself, I want for, for my clients to have a golf club that they're really happy looking at. Yeah. They know when they hit it good, what it's going to feel like, what it's going to sound like, and then they're excited to get to the golf course and play. Right. So um, these are going to be big time contenders this year. Mr. Kraft, testing completed the Aerojet drivers mm -hmm. here. Um, I mean, try to wrap up your thoughts in, you know, a couple of sentences here. I mean, it's like I, you did really well in the testing. And I think your my thoughts are I'm pretty impressed. I think I really liked how aerodynamic that soul is. Um, and then pretty clean look, all things considered, too. Very much so. Uh, aesthetically, it's it's definitely one of one of my two favorite looks of what we've worked with mm -hmm. so far this year um i love i love this gigantic sea of carbon fiber yeah. i can just get lost in yeah. that right um you know the, the three different models you know they're mm -hmm. we've been through these before yeah like seems to be kind of industry standard right we got our yep. little draw bias yep. model we've mm -hmm. got our standard model and we've got our our dedicated lower launch mm -hmm. lower spin model and as we've seen pretty consistently throughout everybody's you know, everybody's models are doing what they're supposed to do. Right. And this, this tested out this way here today, yeah. too. Yeah, so. yeah. That, that standard kind of Aerojet here, I imagine, you know, is going to fit the widest range of players. But yeah. to your point, I think you've said before with these, it's it's going to fit the widest range of players, but really any player can play. And it's not like it's Absolutely. just like if you are if you are a high spin player or, you, you know, whatever. You can most players can play this driver and get yeah. a bunch of benefit from it. Yeah, for sure. And you know, so the the LS is designed technically for higher swing speed guys. I don't know whether I actually fall into that category or not. Um, maybe borderline. Um, the issues that I that I experienced last year with the LTDX, yeah. I kind of came into this with the expectation that I would kind of see the same kind of yeah. thing. And I did, yeah. right? Uh, I played the standard LTDX last year and the standard L Aerojet. <laughs> uh, I am, I'm, I'm giddy like a schoolgirl right now. Yeah. That, that head is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely and amazing. I, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of explosiveness there. And for having, I mean, somebody to, that has hit the, and played the LTDX mm -hmm. and the LS last year, having now tested these, I think it carries a little bit more weight for the viewers. Sure. That you're so excited about these because yeah. um, they to to get that feedback already, especially the Cobra fans that there's a lot of them that watch this channel. Yeah, that feedback is going to be valuable for them uh, to see. And then you know the anecdotes about Bryson and how mm -hmm. he's done this stuff as well. I mean, yeah, he, he hits the ball a decent way. He, he hits it, you know, reasonably far. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah. So this was the model that he was all geeked up about. Yeah. So it's finally it's finally out. It's finally there. We can get it. We can get it in our hands. We can we can swing it. We can see it, and it's. Uh, I think it's incredible in its simplicity. Mm -hmm. You know, I look at it and it is a very You're simple right. looking driver. And, yep. and that's. I mean, I think even the fantastic. way they've implemented the weights. Like I've got the Max here, which is, you know, that that one for like the, the player looking to draw the ball yeah. and someone trying to fight that slice. But, you know, with that one, a we didn't see the ball rapidly turn over it wasn't no. wasn't crazy draw bias right. it was still in play but the way they've implemented the weights here it's so clean and efficient it with is. the way they've done it very you know? flush um yeah. it's it's not intrusive or mm -hmm. a, you know anything like that when you look at the the sole of the club so i think they did a really good job with that yeah. and i'm excited to see you know how it performs in the fitting base here Absolutely. and then uh you know obviously with like the tour pros as well because yeah. i think there's i think this will do really well i think i think it's going to do very mm -hmm. well as well yeah um i'm I'm excited, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to. Oh yeah, to well, thank you for joining. Pieces. Thank oh, you for God. your your feedback, and I think the golfers will really enjoy that. Um, you know what to do, golfers. If you're interested in the Aerojet drivers, big time stamp of approval from Mr. Craft here. So <laughs> schedule the fitting at Second Swing. Uh, get with somebody like Kevin in the fitting bay. Get you dialed in for a new Aerojet driver, and by all accounts today, it's going to help your game. So uh, it might be a good idea. So Kevin, thanks again for joining. Really good stuff. Anytime. Thanks, man.